Thank you to Anchor for sponsoring today's video. If there was ever a time for an Anchor Powerhouse 767, it's now. Because of how we live our lives, we have to rely on backups. The Anchor 767 is our go-to battery backup. The Anchor 767 Powerhouse has some of the same long-lasting LFP batteries as the Anchor 521 and the 757 we've used previously, but has a bigger capacity. The LFP dependable battery can hold over 3,000 charge cycles, has a 5-year warranty and a 10-year lifespan. With the 2,000 watt 40 capacity, it can power things for days. You can power your phone, camera, drone, laptop, fridge, blender, microwave, and even a hairdryer, all of your favorite luxuries when you're out traveling to your favorite destinations. The large suitcase design makes it easy to move wherever you need it and has a convenient handle to pull. It can recharge to 80% capacity in an hour and a half with HyperFlash technology. With the 1,000 watt solar capacity, it can recharge in two and a half hours. With the expansion battery pack, you can double the capacity from 2,048 watts to 4,096 watts. With the Smart Control app, you have the convenience of monitoring your powerhouse remotely through the app. Click the link in the description box to learn more. Before I go and turn the heater on and make a bunch of noise, um, I wanted to try and explain to you what I have going on here. This is the bathroom, this is the bedroom, but there's going to be a bedroom right over the top of this bathroom, and it's going to hang out equally as far as this bedroom does. So the rafters have to be supported, and that's where the doorway is going to be. So I'm going to use a 2x10, or maybe two 2x10s, to carry across this open space, then I have to support it over in, the, in this corner. I'm going to have to put some thought into this, but uh, at the same time, I'm, I'm not going to overcomplicate it, but I want to hide how it's being supported in that wall if, if possible. So, and I may have to run and go get some uh, longer two by tens. I have been thinking about how I'm best going to utilize this space out here in the shop for at least a year now. And once I got a few walls stood up, the wheels started turning in my head a little bit. But for the most part, I haven't had to make any changes to the bedroom walls and the bathroom walls downstairs. But as far as the second story is concerned, I haven't quite got the stairs and the landing worked out just yet. The second story bedroom is going to hang over this bathroom and naturally the rafters for the second story floor have to be supported. But this little corner right here by the bathroom is likely going to be needed for cabinets for storage so I need to keep the space as open as I can. I'm rapidly running out of room as I'm trying to secure the floor joist to the rim joist and so I have to build it in pieces and then drag the heavy floor joists into place.
When I start to get a little bit too tired, things can get a little bit dangerous, and that's often when I get hurt. But in this case, it was only my pride that took a beating when those floor joists made it back down to the floor. But this is the challenge I'm up against. There's a limited amount of space and I'm trying to utilize every square inch. But the floor joists across the bathroom have to be supported and supported in a way where it's gonna last a lifetime. And if I end up installing a door right here underneath the second story rafters, as I said, it has to be very, very well supported because I can't have any more boards falling than necessary around here. This is part of the reason I prefer to work alone. You know, I could really easily edit out all of these little things that don't make me look so good in these moments. And then I could pretend to be something that I'm not. But the problem is, we live in a world already where it's hard to tell which side is up. And even if it is at the expense of my pride, in the name of truth, I'm more than prepared to show just how smart you have to be to get some of these projects done. I will end up doubling up this 2x10 and probably even running some carriage bolts through it just to make sure I know it's good and stiff for that second story. And there's only about a 5 foot span between these two 2x10s and the 2x6 bathroom wall, so structurally it'll be fine. But again, because I have limited space against the back of the wall here, I have to build things in sections, slide them into place, and then I'll use a longer 2x10 to tie it into the existing floor joists. So whether it's one of our kids that stay out here or one of our family or friends that may stay out here, either way we want it to be a comfortable and safe place for them to stay. And on our next video, we're going to get the stairs figured out and work on the second story. But we've also got some really cold weather coming through. And I've got to make sure that the new underground water tank is doing okay. And then I should be able to get all of the framing done out here. And then get the plumbing and the electrical done before I call for inspections. In the meantime, we hope you are all doing very well and staying warm, and we thank you for taking time to watch our videos. We will see you guys in just a few days.
So this corner, I want to do a cantilevered landing for the stairs, but the floor joists aren't strong enough, so I'm going to have to pick up a few more, but we're making good progress. This is turning out nice. Well, there's two cats in my doghouse right now, and they're not supposed to be in here. Cats are no longer allowed in here. They like you. It's warm in here. No, they don't like me. They like because it's warm in here. All right. Um, Willie, Willie, come here. Come here. It's okay. Leave her alone. Uh, come he's got to figure it out. Willow will slap him upside the head if he gets yeah, too close. She goes like this. Okay, so I'm trying to build this landing to potentially be a free-floating diving diving board, possibly. I, I reinforced it pretty good. The rafters go all the way down. So it's strong, but I still may have to put a post underneath it, and I'm I'm okay with that if I have to. But yeah. stairs, I'm gonna build the stairs out of two by 12s, and I'm going to keep them kind of lightweight. The thing that I'm next gonna do is finish the, the sheathing on the top, and then I'm going to figure out this room up here. But this, so the idea is I'm gonna walk up the stairs to a landing, there's gonna be a handrail, and the bedroom door to get in this bedroom is going to be like right there. And then the big question is, am I going to do a loft all the way to the other side? And I, I think at this point, there's no turning back. But so yes, you're going to or no? I think so. It's just not going to be cheap. You know, the way I want to build it, it's not going to be cheap. But I, it should last a long time and it should kind of create something fun out here, I guess. One of my thoughts was all of your storage stuff, possibly on this back wall that I could build a cabinet or build something incorporated into this where it looks like it's actually got doors. That's where I was kind of thinking to put the pool table, take all my tools, put all my tools, do, do the floor to ceiling shelves that we were talking about. Right over here. Uh huh. And do all my tools on this wall that have to be in here. And then it just kind of comes down to where you, where we, all that stuff. Just getting all that stuff condensed and organized is gonna make the shop look 30% bigger. Yeah, it's just so. that corner over there. My black and my black and yellow stuff's done. I'm gonna leave all the rat all the floor joists exposed underneath. Uh so you're just gonna leave this area out or is this where like the little kitchenette could be? So I just we just have to make some decisions on it. I don't want any exposed water lines. I kind of give you the appearance you're looking up at an old tin roof when you're sleeping. I don't know. So it was six o'clock, you said, and the dogs ran off. So let's see if they come back a little fast. Last time they were gone for about an what, hour and a half or something. I can't believe they looked at me like that. I screamed at them, I bad dogs. I, I, I yelled said, at them, bad dogs. Said, no, no, no. They knew they were bad they dogs. They took off as fast as they could. Every muscle in Ruby's body was. Yeah, they know. That's, I, I, tru I think part of our reaction is why they run mm -hmm. off. So hopefully they do come right back. You but. gave me the dirtiest look. Oh. 